everybody! Welcome back to Master of Orion 2! I'm Landon, and I'm in a pretty good position! Although I do need to defend it from the Antarians. The Antarians are just a high-tech uh, fleet that just randomly attack colonies. They'll be starting now. They start off small, sending only a frigate, but they will steadily increase the fleet size they send until they break you. Or you break them, one or the other. I think, however, I have now reached a game-winning position. So, um, it's more likely that I'm going to go and take out everyone else first. And to do that, I'm mostly going to prepare by getting myself some good guns and some good fuel cells. And then once I do that, I'm just going to go and mop up. How's that sound? So let's go ahead and start with the guns. Not bad. Now we need to miniaturize them. Let's see how they do. They got a missile base. Let me show you what these guys have. Okay, these particle beams do 10 to 30 damage. For uh, comparison, the mass drivers we've got, they do 6. Thing is, they totally ignore shields, which is nice. And Neutronium Bomb, uh, I believe that's 40 to 70. So yeah, they're, they're, nothing to, they're nothing to sneeze at. That's just a frigate. Thing is, uh, these missiles are going to tear at a new one, so I'm not too worried. As you can see, now that's only going to work for frigates. Uh, I'm going to need more static defenses to handle the larger fleets. But you know what? I'll be able to do that. For now, though... Oh, let's see here what we got. Oh. I wonder if that's enough. Not quite. I just needed just a few more votes. And then I would have made... It. In fact, you know what? I needed literally one more vote and I would have won the game. <coughs> well then. I'm sure that's what my uh, new planets will be doing. In fact, all I really need to do is just uh, pass turns until the next election, really. What, really? Oh well, I got the money. Yeah, I got the money. Speaking of which, I've got trade goods and planets that are... They have completed everything they need to build. Like so. Good. Speaking of which, well, let's see. Do you have... Yeah. I don't have you build an artificial planet as you can. Uh, this planet here, Blutcher, it's, yeah, that, that does not have nearly enough production power to make that happen. Artificial planet? Oh, you can build another. Alright! We got Class 7 shields. And we've got the hard shields on top of that. Um, yeah, that might be... We may not even need... Uh, oh, yeah, we need the uh, fuel things. Uh, let me give you a little uh, something here. Once I've set up this planet, of course. Change. Oh, missile base. A lot of micromanagement in this game, but it pays off. Okay, what was I going to do? Um, ship, ship. Oh, yes. Let's go ahead and take a look at races. So, let's just go ahead and take a look at, say, these guys. 
and weapon. Okay, they've got a Neutron Blaster, which does 3 to 12 points of damage. Now, the combination of Class 7 shields combined with the hard shields means that I ignore the first 10 points of damage for each shot. So their guns could do at most uh, 2 points of damage. If they make them heavy mount, that could be taken up to 18 because it gives it an extra 50% damage. So, yeah. They're going to be in a hard way if I send ships at them. They're going to be in a very hard way. I could probably just depopulate the entire galaxy and win from that. Probably win from that easy. And yeah, that might be how we win. I think I'm going to go ahead though. I'm just going to go for the diplomatic win. Which honestly, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and start building ships like I need them. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. Is there any other piece of technology I want? Oh, Neutronium Armor. Five turns. Yeah, I can wait that. Then I'll start building my ships. have anyone to put over to you, do I? Nope. I'll just go ahead and, uh... I usually don't like spreading the uh, alien populations around too much, because it does have a, uh, a few minor quirks with, uh, with, uh, subterranean. Like, uh, if we go to this planet here, you'll notice... Oh, you don't have a cloning center, do you? You do! See how low it is? Even with the cloning center? That's because they have split populations. The uh Colden uh, the uh yeah, the Colden, they've uh they've already writ their max. My guys haven't. But it's still splitting the uh the uh, effects of the cloning center among both, so we're not getting nearly as much population as we should. Okay. So let's see here, yeah. Let's go ahead and get that last thing we needed. Neutronium armor. We're at a winning situation, so let's just go ahead and set it up. Actually, let's just go ahead and all the way up to thorium set fuel cells. Self-regenerating fuel, unlimited fuel supply. Oh, uh, that's a long way up. You know what? I have a better idea. I'm just going to go ahead and go for research bonuses. Because why not? It's time to make a super ship. And you're the one that's going to make it for us. I stacked you up, and I got you nice and well built specifically for this. And this is what you're going to be doing. Tight. And let's call you Game Ender. Because that's what this thing's going to do. Uh, first off, Battle Pods. Uh, let's see here. I'm actually not going to do that. But you might as well have it. What I really want, though, first thing is first, Hard Shield. Yeah, that's going to give us, yeah, 10 damage points blocked. That's bad for the enemy. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in the shield capacitor, and it's right here. Plus 70% shield recharge rate, which means basically I'm going to refresh my shields every turn. So that 175 strength, that comes back every time. They can't really take that down. I don't see how they could. Let's go ahead and put in some augmented engines just for the defense. Hey, what the heck? Might as well put in a battle scanner. Missiles could still take us down. 
Yeah. That's good. Oh, and while we're at it... Actually... You know what, that's even better than the shield capacitor. Because that basically repairs 15% of hit points structure each turn. They're not getting through that. They are very seriously not getting through that. So let's go ahead and give us some offensive capabilities now. For offensive capabilities, we're going to go ahead and get that structural analyzer. Yes. Doubles any damage that penetrates the shield. That's what we wanted. Let's put in our Gauss Cannons. I'll make them auto-fire. Come Heavy Mount. Nah, I don't want Heavy Mount. Only 20. Only 20. You know what? Let's go ahead and take care of the uh, augmented engines. Oh, but if I do that, uh -huh. you know what? I can just go and get some better engines, can't I? Yeah, I get that. Speed. Oh, it's only nine. Ew. Let's give augmented engines back. Instead, let's get rid of battle scanner. Yeah. This will be our game ender. I don't like getting rid of the battle scanner, to be honest. Uh, beam attack. Let's go ahead and take the battle scanner back, actually. You know what? I'll just put 20 Gauss guns on it and call it a day. Yeah. I'll just put 20 Gauss guns on them and call it a day. That's quite a bit. Honestly, I don't even need that. I don't even need the automated just repair unit. That's just gravy. Uh, probably don't even need structural analyzer. But that's just awesome. Yeah. This will be our ship. And you're going to build some. 11 turns. Go you. Go you. You finished building. And honestly, all we're gonna do now is just wait for the elections. And if I don't win the next elections, well then, I'll just wipe the galaxy clean. I am short on food. Here we go, yeah. So I'll get good returns from putting food there. And freighters. Freighters are running a bit low. I think I should probably start doing terraforming on these planets. That way they'll be able to grow their own food. And they also won't cost me money to ship food out to them. So those freighters cost money. Alright, that's another plus three to uh, research. I think that'll be fine. Running out of food again. Mm 
Okay, that should solve my food problems for the foreseeable future. I got so many planets now. All I have to do is just wait for that next election and I am golden. See how they do. Um, yeah. Uh, by the way, remember how I said with these guys pierce shields? Hard shields prevent you from from uh, using your shield piercing weapons. So you do nothing. I have maxed out my computer technology. Nice. Let's go ahead and max out sociology next. Galactic Unification is a massive production boost. And there's... Yeah, um... When I say massive production boost, I'm including food, too. I think we're going to be good for food for a little bit, for the foreseeable future. Actually, I don't even need to bother because I'm about to win. Yeah, I'm not going to worry too much because I'm not going to be getting money from it anyway. There we go. Hey, what do you know? I told you those guys would be my biggest uh, threat. That should be it. Yes! I have voted myself on the strength of my votes, and this, I do thank the, uh, I do, I do thank the Mershan and the Clacon for their own votes. Yes, I accept the ruling. You are truly the greatest leader in the history of the galaxy. Long live the new emperor of the United Galactic Republic. We are overjoyed to join in the United Galactic Republic with you as our leader. There has never been another such as you. You are the wisest emperor this galaxy has ever seen. Well, thank you. The elections are now over. The ballots are cast, and you have been elected leader of the galaxy. Your years of labor have paid off. Now peace reigns supreme in the galaxy. Peace at your command, and equality for all who have served you so well. You are truly the master of Orion. The power of the ancients is now yours to command. You have crushed all opposition beneath your heel. You rule the greatest empire in living history. Its soldiers' bravery at your command. Your army is undefeatable. Your fleets patrol the skies of every planet and galaxy. This galaxy. <laughs> but other challenges await. The master of a life. Let's see here. Total score, 15.85. Not my best. Didn't get a good number of captured population. Cool. Well, I hope everyone's enjoyed this uh, interesting little Christmas uh, 
Christmas uh, tradition I have. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this game. I might go ahead and do uh, the uh, the original too after this. Because honestly, I think the original's better than this one. You can see uh, towards the end there was a lot of micromanagement involved. The original doesn't have that problem. But anyway, that is for another episode. Thanks everyone for watching everyone. I'm Landon and you've been watching Master of Orion 2. I'll see you guys later.